So let me give you three principles on how to do all questions that relate to bearings. Number one, read carefully. Now, I'm sorry. I've been here for like 30 seconds. Um, now read carefully. I say this about all kinds of questions. We've seen, for example, in all of the financial stuff, the words make big differences, right? Like tiny little words. In bearings, the most important words to look out for are to and from. To and from. It's really sneaky because conjunction words like these, they slip underneath your radar. But if you say, for example, mistake one for the other, you literally reverse the question. Like you're asking the opposite thing, okay? If I say to you, from A to B, right? And like ask for a bearing, okay? If we put A somewhere, and then we put B somewhere, if you've got a diagram and you've got some dots on there, what could I draw onto here to know which angle I'm trying to work out? Anyone want to give me some suggestions? Hmm. Sorry, sir. I was talking with Adam. I'm in I'm in the first thing I'm going to do, and this actually is bleeding into the next point, so I might as well write it now. Um, draw clear diagrams and big diagrams. So I'm drawing a diagram now to try and explain how to carefully read this. The first thing I'm going to put on is um, compass roses, right? Don't draw too many, but enough to understand what's going on. Here, I really do have to have one on the A, like that, from A to B. Where's the bearing? Which angle is it? How would you describe it vertically? Verbally, rather. Mm. Okay, we'll just the angle in between the north and that diagonal. Very good. So between north and this one here, yeah. so there is where I could find the bearing. Okay, and whatever that angle is, like say, I don't know, 35 degrees, I might say 0, 35, true, there's my bearing. Okay. Naturally, if I reverse the words, if I say uh, 2A, from B, the points are still in the same order, but you've changed it completely. Where am I now? If I say 2A from B. Okay, yeah, so I'm gonna have to add a compass rose over here now, like so. Where's the bearing? What angle am I interested in this time? Ah, uh, good, so it's gonna be a reflex angle. Again, it's from north, and this time it's gonna go all the way around and be whatever that is, okay? Now, it's worth pointing out, these angles are related to each other. They're not like randomly separated. What's the relationship between this angle and that one? Hmm. Oh, look. Yeah, Nick, what do you reckon? Use some, now this is tricky, right? But this is what we're focusing on. Can you use some words? Because we all kind of like, uh, it's the thing with the, uh, I don't know really what I'm talking about. How would you explain it? Is it out of 270? What do you mean by out of 270? Like, instead of 360 degrees, mm -hmm. you don't go past that fourth quarter. Mm -hmm. So th this is, hold on, just so that everyone else is on the same page. Uh, if we went all the way around from north or whether back to the beginning, that's 360. Uh, we haven't gone that far, have we? So you're thinking about being in this quarter. Is that what you're talking about? Yeah, just yeah? Okay, so it is somewhere in there. It's not 270, though. Like, where would 270 be? Up to the left, that line. Actually, the, the true bearing, 270 degrees, has a compass bearing. What's the compass bearing that goes with that? West. It's west, isn't it? There it is, okay. So it's not exactly west, clearly. Can you see, because I've got north here and north here, they're both north, so they're both parallel lines, right? Do you remember, and this is why I did them together, when we're doing angles of elevation and depression, again, you've got these parallel lines. So what does that mean? Have a look, what angles are related here? Very good, I've got alternate angles. The first one I said, this one here, right, is alternate to, I'm just gonna make this compass rose a bit bigger. It's alternate to this angle. Do you see that? Just so that we mark them the same, let's call this one theta and call this one theta as well. Okay, so they're alternate, they're the same angle. If you found this angle, maybe part two of this question is, now can you tell me this bearing, okay? You can see it's the same angle plus what? 180 is the extra bit, right? So if I said, for example, if theta was 35 degrees, so that's my answer to the first one, then the answer to the second one will be 
Uh, that plus 180, uh, 215. Okay, do you, does that make sense? So, clearly completely different numbers, and it's based on whether you read carefully or not. Okay? Um, hopefully I've also demonstrated the importance of drawing the diagram. Even when they give you a diagram, it's really important that you, for example, either draw onto the diagram they give you, that's one of the reasons why we give you an exam, or if they don't give you one, you had better draw one. Nick? Well, could you do it, like, say, if, if you find that that's 270, mm -hmm. one to me, yep. and then you find that that's 35, can you just subtract that from that? Okay, you've got to be super, super careful in terms of, like, what did we do? Um, for part B, I added, so I got 215, okay? Now, you can imagine, even just looking at this question, it's very easy to mix up adding and subtracting angles. The angle you would subtract would be this one. You see that? Uh, this one over, over here, right? That's obviously going to be a different size. Just be careful, make sure you know what angle you're calculating. Uh, this would be 55. 270, take away 55, still the same size. So just be watchful. What are you adding? What are you subtracting? Where are the angles you're talking about? Which is why this matters so much. Okay. Uh, last question, last point uh, rather, is reread the question when you answer. Okay. So this is just making sure you cap things off. You start off by reading the question so you know what they're asking. But when you think you have an answer, go back to the question one more time. Are you actually answering what they're after? Or are you giving them an angle which is like on the way, but it's short, you've got to add something to it or subtract, or you've got to explain, well, okay, how far is he going to go, not what the angle is, okay? So these are my three principles that I use all the time. 